Hi there, today I'm going to review my new LTD Deluxe M1000 Candy Apple Red. And although this is a very modern guitar with modern features, I'm going to go kind of old school with the demo. Here you go. All right, so I've had this guitar now a couple of weeks, and I gotta say, I am blown away by the build quality and the features of this guitar. So to quickly go over some of the specs, um, it's got Grover locking tuners. It's a three-piece maple neck through to an alder body. It's got a Macassar ebony fretboard. Um, it's got a Floyd Rose 1000 bridge um, SE because it's got stainless steel uh, screws to it. Um, Fishman Modern, sorry, Fishman Fluence Modern Pickups. These are new for me. I've never had these before. Um, stainless steel frets and gorgeous red, candy apple red satin color. Now, I am blown away by the color. So in the photos online, it makes this guitar look lighter than the, it really is. I find the red is darker than what I was expecting, but I really like this. Really cool though, it was, what I wasn't expecting is that there's actually black binding on the body. And when you look at the photo on the website, there's no binding on the body. So I kind of like that they added that because it's got it on the headstock. So it kind of matches what's going on on the headstock here. Um, the ebony fretboard now, you get a bit of brown streaks in in the new ebony the macassar ebony wood um and i don't mind that there's just a tiny bit of brownish uh, streak through this but you really can't see it which is cool um especially in the light you can't really tell it looks mostly black for the most part um of course it's got the satin finish so it's neck through satin it's got it's nice that you don't stick to it when you sweat and whatnot which was a big problem i had with like my all my gloss guitars um so, and then uh, the Fishman Fluence pickups. Now, I've never had these pickups before, and I find there's a lot of clarity. And they're like for an active pickup, there's a lot of clarity, even more than what I found on this guy, which has been my main guitar for many years. Uh, when I was playing in a metal band, playing in standard tuning, going on the road, and I kind of retired this in the last couple of years, not playing it as much just because. Jackson USA guitars are worth so much money that I don't bring that one out, but it's kind of like my main guitar at home. I practice the most with this, but it's getting a little bit worn out, right? So now that's why when I saw the features of this guitar with the stainless steel parts and whatnot, I thought, oh, this is going to be a nice workhorse type of guitar that I could use as a main guitar, especially being like the, I don't know, you want to call it the super strap body. It's easier to play with. It's easier to put down when you're, you know, doing stuff. The shapes like the Kelly, I have a couple of Randy Rhodes Vs. Uh, they're kind of harder to deal with. The cases are kind of odd. You can put this in a regular case. So it didn't come with the case. Now, for the pricing, I believe this retails for $13.99 US and then $21.49 Canadian. Uh, and doesn't come with a case or a gig bag or anything. And I'm, I'm fine with that because I've got cases, I've got gig bags I can use. Um, and I'm a little bit more picky about that. The only thing I kind of wish is that ESP actually had molded SKB cases, kind of like Jackson does. But that's okay. I already tested this and this fits in a Jackson Soloist case. It would just be nice if ESP actually had a case, a dedicated case for this shape. 
um, or most of their shapes, but they just have like their regular cases, uh, which I find are kind of pricey for being a regular case because I can buy a regular case and it's the same, just got writing on it. So anyway, so another thing that I liked about the, the build of these is that it's very similar in the neck to the Jacksons where I'm used to playing a compound radius. Uh, these are 12 to 16 inch radius. This is uh, in... Uh, metric it's thir 300 to 400 millimeter profile um, and to me it's very similar to my Kelly I find my I have two USA roads and I find they're a little bit thicker but this neck is very similar to that neck so that's why to me this is a good kind of replacement to this one to that one being retired so um, but yeah and I'm getting used to these new pickups and the different voicings um, so just quickly um, you don't hear it as much on when you're playing with distortion. For example, I'll just quickly play voice one. Voice two. You don't really hear much of a difference. But if I go here to, I'm just going to try to throw in a clean sound. Might hear more of a difference. Seems like voice one has more output to it, um, meant to sound more modern, I guess. Uh, and the voice two, I guess, is supposed to be more vintage uh, in a way, but uh, I like them a lot. I'm used to playing Seymour Duncan blackouts now. I find active pickups are really great for lower tunings, drop tunings. Um, so at some point, this guitar will go in a lower tuning, maybe. I, I kind of want to use this as a main guitar for the first of while anyway, so I'm kind of going to keep it in standard tuning uh, and then use my Jackson still um, for lower tuning stuff. Now, what I think I'm going to do actually is I might cut in this video and just do a couple of quick samples between this guitar and that guitar, which are very similar in build, except that's got more of the old school kind of components where it doesn't have stainless steel, but it's got active pickups in the Seymour Duncan act blackout. So I think I'm going to do a quick, the same riffs from the demo. Maybe I'll do an extra track with this to kind of give a sound comparison. <laughs> So that's my review for today. I definitely recommend this guitar. Uh, if, if not the red one, definitely they got a snow white one that looks amazing as well. Uh, the fact that these are built in Korea, quality is amazing. It's got a lot of modern features to it. I plan on keeping this guitar for a long time. This is going to be my new workhorse. Uh, it just sounds amazing. And that's all I can say. And I'm going to be shredding on from here as we go. Till next time, shred. <laughs>